There are several ways to add cut work to an embroidery design. You can create a shape with any of the shapes tools, or you can use one of the drawing tools and draw around the shape and then convert that shape to cut work. You can also use auto border to create a cut work object from an outline, or you can convert an embroidery design to curves and then apply cut work. Convert to Curves will convert the design to an edible artwork, which it can then be used to add cut work. To create a shape, select the appropriate Shapes tool. I'm going to use the Control and the Shift key to draw a circle from center out. I'll press the space bar to select and then move the circle over the area to be cut. In Object Properties, select None for Fill and Cut Work for Outline. Place a check mark by running before and change the offset to 1 and press Enter. For drawing a shape, you might wish to review the video for Create Outline Tool to create an enclosed shape over the heart. I'm going to select Create Outline, hold Shift-click to make a cusp node and then click around the design to create smooth nodes. At the base of the heart, I'll use a shift click and then again just clicks around the shape of the heart. Shift click and click on the first node to enclose the shape. Press the space bar to select the shape. Select none in object properties for fill. Select cut work in outline and then edit the cutwork portion as before. Any of these shapes that you draw can be edited by using Edit Shape Nodes, and then just move the nodes, add a node, change a node as you need to to make the shape the shape that you need. For Auto Border, select the shape and click on Auto Border. This opens up a dialog box and you can elect to have the border to the outside or to the inside. You can select the distance. You'll need one repeat. If you have remove holes checked, it will create just one outline around the outside of the heart. If remove holes is unchecked, both sides of the heart outline will be cut. I'll leave this checked. I'll select Cut and click OK. Again, Edit Shape Nodes can be used to edit any of the nodes around this shape. And you'll find that when you convert embroidery to cut work in this way, you will have to do some editing with Edit Shape Nodes. To convert a design to edible artwork, first select the design, right click, and select Convert to Curves. Once again, Edit Shape Nodes can be used to delete nodes, add nodes, move nodes, and you'll perfect the shape in this way. Once the nodes are edited, select the Rectangle Selection tool. In Object Properties, Fill Tab, select None. You will have to add an outline by clicking in the upper left corner of a color chip, either in the brushes palette or in the threads palette, select cut work, and then edit the cut work by changing the running before stitch and the offset. You can also convert a stitched outline design to cut work. First, right click and select convert to curves, and then in your Object Properties, Outline tab, select Cut Work and place a check mark by running before. And again, change the offset and press Enter. In most all cases, when you add cut work to an embroidery design, the sequence of stitching will need to be changed so that the cut work happens before the stitching. Just click and drag on the cut work sections to move them to stitch before the embroidery.